welcome back. Today is National Puppy Day, and so many of you have shared photographs that you're seeing here up on our big wall in our studio. Uh, photographs of your cute little guys and gals at home. Oh, look at these. So cute. I think the ones with the, uh, the tutus, I think they're super cute. And I think the pups probably like them. Look at this one on the couch. Mom, Dad, when are you coming home? Come on. So cute. So share them with us. Hashtag Fox 10 Phoenix. We always love to see your photos. Thank you so much. Speaking of puppies, Ty is with some at the Arizona Animal Welfare League, and they need a new home. Maybe they need your home. Hey, Ty. Good morning, Celeste. Yeah, happy National Puppy Day. We are having so much fun here at the Arizona Animal Welfare League. I'm here with Michael Moorfield because you guys are having a puppy boom, so to speak. You guys have a lot of puppies on hand. We have a lot of puppies on hand and a lot more waiting in the wings. At one time last week, we had three moms and puppies all at once looking for foster homes. One litter was 11 puppies with their mom. And we, we realized that was kind of a gap in our fosters. We, we have some puppy fosters, we have some kitten fosters, but looking for people that can help a mom and her nursing babies, we needed more help. And when we're talking about the overall foster, we're fostering up to 1,500 animals a year. 1,500 a year. 1,500 with kittens and puppies and moms and sometimes medical cases if you want to help out. And that adds up. And the only way we can do that is with our community and we need that help these guys have been in foster for the last six weeks they've led a great life but we have 32 partners that are looking for help and they're looking to bring their animals to us so that we can get them into foster we'll drive all the way to california new mexico up to northern arizona but once they're here we need you to take care of them in your home so let's talk about what does it take to be a foster with you guys you know it, it's it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in seven years being here, but it is a lot of work. Uh, if you have a separate room or area where you can set them away from your animals, that's all you really need. We provide the supplies, we provide the medical care, we provide the vaccines, we provide all of that. All we need is your home and your cleanup efforts. There you it go. Can, <laughs> it can get a, a little, little messy. messy. I can imagine. But you'll realize that maybe you'll spend an hour or two doing some cleaning and then you have all of this time to play with puppies. The puppy breath, the snuggles, all of that, the whining. <laughs> yeah, it's this guy's all a little whiny totally here. worth it. And it could be up to two weeks, all the way up to eight weeks. And we you can, can work decide, with you, right? You can decide. We want to set you up for success. So if you just have two weeks before you go do something, or you have a longer time because you're working at home, maybe you can take a mom and puppies who just wants to relax for the next month in your home. So Michael, let's talk, you, you made it really easy for folks to become a foster. Everything's done online as far as the training, right? Exactly, you go to aawl.org slash foster or right on our front page, there's a big foster banner. Everything's online training, which is easy. Once you fill out the applications, just a quiz to make sure you feel comfortable with the information. Then you can reach out to our team and say, I am ready to help puppies and kittens. Then we'll start setting you up as they come to our team. And literally every week, we're looking for help through fosters okay. uh, to really make the biggest difference at our shelter. I've got five seconds left. These guys, do you know when they're gonna be coming up for adoption yet? Hopefully this week. Hopefully this week. Look at these faces. Don't you want that? <laughs> that little so white one, are cute. you taking it home, Ty? I He's wish. so happy Look at in this your arms. I love, I love him. He is. He's great. I His love him. His tail's wagging. All the puppies are so great. So cute. <laughs> I know they are. Until they chew up your shoes and then they pee on the carpet. That's no bueno. Mm -mm. But we love them. They're like kids. The, not the chewing the shoes part, hopefully.